Oh, hello. This is Tak Chung from Walk with Tak. Uh, welcome to my YouTube channel. Uh, if you enjoyed this video, please like, subscribe, and share uh, because this will help me to expand my audience base. Uh, recently, one of my YouTube viewers asked me this question. Uh, he said, uh, "How do you use oyster sauce?" He said he really like oyster sauce, and he thought there must be many ways to use oyster sauce. And he liked me to uh, give him some examples that how I use it. Uh, well, I thought that is a great question. Uh, because in fact there are many ways to use oyster sauce. Uh, I find there are many applications, and uh, in this video I would like to share with you uh, some of the ways that how I use oyster sauce. Uh, however, before I uh, starting on this video, uh, I would like to tell you something that is very exciting uh, for me to do. It is because uh, I'm going to have my first live streaming event. Uh, this is going to be on next Monday, which is July 26, and uh, it will start at 7 p.m. Central Standard Time. Uh, so why do I want to start live streaming? The reason is simple, uh, because I would like to interact with my viewers. Uh, for example, the question that the viewer asked me about how do I use oyster sauce. Uh, now this live stream is quite different, uh, because I'm using a new platform known as Remo. Now this platform is very unusual uh, because it allows me to interact with uh, my viewers on one-to-one -one basis. Uh, this can all happen in real time uh, in the live streaming event. For example, uh, we can gather uh, after the event uh, and talk to each other on a one-to-one -one basis. Uh, this will be exactly in the same situation that you will walk up to a speaker uh, after a presentation. And in this case, you can ask the speakers a question uh, just between two of you. So I'm very excited to give this a try. So hopefully uh, you will join me. So all you have to do is to register for the event uh, using the link that is below the video. Okay, so after getting this out of the way, uh, let's go back to oyster sauce. And let me first provide some background as well as a history about oyster sauce. Uh, oyster sauce was invented accidentally in the southern part of China in the late 1800s. Uh, he was boiling some oyster into a soup, and after he boiled it for a while, this turned into a dark, thick liquid. And he and many other people found it amazingly delicious. Uh, particularly, it has wonderful umami flavor. Uh, this led to the formation of the company now known as Li Kam Gi, and it is Lei Kam Gi when you pronounce it in Cantonese. And Li Kam Gi is now is a Hong Kong-based company. And in addition to make oyster sauce, uh, it also makes many other types of sauces as well. Uh, currently, you will find there are two uh, categories of uh, oyster sauce that is sold by Li Kam Gi. Uh, the premier version uh, contains mainly uh, oyster extract, and it also contains sugar, salt, and also water thickened with cornstarch. Whereas the cheaper version that has a panda on it, and I frequently call it the panda oyster sauce. Uh, for obvious reason, the cheaper version contains less oyster extract. Uh, this cheaper version uh, also contains uh, uh, like soy sauce or other seasoning agents, uh, sometimes MSG as well. Uh, personally, I'm so used to uh, eating the cheaper version. In fact, I prefer the cheaper version uh, over the premier version. Uh, in fact, you can make your own oyster sauce fairly easily uh, by simply boiling oysters. And my cousin Marge makes her own oyster sauce. And uh, when I taste it, it definitely tastes more intense. In fact, you can find many recipes online that show you how to make your own oyster sauce. I uh, truly appreciate how oyster sauce is used to flavor a dish, uh, is to actually taste it. Uh, to me, when I taste oyster sauce, uh, I find that it uh, first uh, hit me is that it is quite salty. Uh, the second impression that I got from tasting the oyster sauce is that it is very savory. It has a great umami flavor. It reminds me a combination of uh, seafood and mushroom. And when I talk to my cousin Marge, uh, I ask her what would be the best way to really get a good uh, sense of the flavor of the oyster sauce. And she recommend me the easiest way to get a sense of what oyster sauce tastes like is to mix it with some noodles. 
as she told me, in fact, one of the most favorite uh, way for her to eat noodles is to mix spaghetti noodles. Actually, just regular spaghetti pasta noodles with oyster sauce and some scallions. And she was absolutely right. It is truly delicious. Uh, here's a noodle dish. Instead of using scallion, I use chives. And my friend Jimmy uh, loves oyster sauce. And in fact, he put oyster sauce in almost anything that he cook. Uh, believe it or not, in fact, Jimmy actually put oyster sauce when he makes spaghetti sauce. Uh, Jimmy told me that he used a uh, different amount of oyster sauce in his dishes depending on what he tried to achieve. Uh, very much like what Jimmy does, I also put different amount of oyster sauce in my dishes. Uh, I'm not only cooked with oyster sauce, but I also use oyster sauce to garnish a dish. As you can see, oyster sauce is truly a very versatile sauce. And this is a good demonstration of flavor chasing in my fast cooking system. Uh, by making fine adjustments, you can create many different possibilities and fine tune the flavor that you enjoy. Uh, for example, in my case, I always put a touch of oyster sauce in my fried rice. Uh, the oyster sauce will give saltiness to the fried rice, but it will also make the fried rice more savory. However, the most frequent use of oyster sauce that provides a signature of a dish is in making teriyaki dishes. This could be teriyaki chicken, teriyaki beef, or teriyaki vegetables. And in this case, the teriyaki flavor is created by the combination of oyster sauce and hoisin sauce. By varying the ratio between these two sauces, you can adjust the flavor of the dish, whether you want to make it a bit saltier or you want to make it more sweet. Uh, in fact, uh, I must uh, admit, I use this combination a lot of times in cooking almost uh, most of my dishes, whether it is a meat dish, a seafood dish, or a vegetable dish. Uh, personally, my most favorite ratio is uh, two parts of oyster sauce to one part of hoisin sauce. Another thing I really like about this combination is because uh, both oyster sauce and hoisin sauce uh, contain cornstarch. Uh, therefore, I don't need to use any more cornstarch uh, to create the type of consistency that I want in the sauce. Uh, there are a couple of little tips that I would like to uh, give to you. Uh, the first one is that after you uh, purchase the oyster sauce, I would transfer it from the original bottle into a squeeze bottle. Uh, this makes dispensing the sauce much more convenient as well as faster. Uh, the second tip I would like to give you is that instead of buying oyster sauce uh, in a bottle, I would buy it in a can. And the can comes in a 5 pound size. Uh, after I open the can, I store it in a large jar in the refrigerator. And I transfer the oyster sauce in a squeeze bottle uh, when I use them. Okay, so I think I have uh, told you enough about oyster sauce will get you going. Uh, so just give it a try uh, in different types of dishes and see how you like it. Uh, and my final reminder is that uh, please join me at my first live stream event, which is next Monday. Uh, I'm going to use oyster sauce in cooking uh, some of those dishes. And afterwards, you can ask me questions specifically about oyster sauce. So okay, thank you for watching. And I'll see you tomorrow.